my name is Claire Morno. I work for CISA in South Deerfield. CISA stands for Community Involved in Sustaining Agriculture, and we're a nonprofit that works throughout the Pioneer Valley. CISA works to connect farmers and the community in order to sustain and build our local agricultural uh, community. So we sort of work on both sides of that issue. We provide technical assistance to farmers and help them with marketing, and we do outreach and education for consumers too. The fact that we work with the whole community, we work with consumers, we work with farmers, that gives us a lot of opportunity to kind of explore what some of the issues are in the food system as they relate to farmers and as they relate to shoppers and eaters and everybody else. In honor of our 20th anniversary, we wanted to come up with sort of fun new ways for consumers to engage with the local food system. Each month we do new challenges that are designed to, to, to reach those goals and help people reach those goals. They're not hard challenges, they're sort of fun things that people can do with their families. And so for the summer, we thought it would be fun for people to get out to farms and explore what farm stands have to offer. So we came up with this farm stand bingo game. Um, and we've come up with a list of the different sorts of things that farm stands are doing. Things like, you know, go visit a farm that has animals and interact with the animals, or go to a farm that has wine tastings, or visit a farm that does fiber and see what, you know, they have to offer. And people can, you know, go and visit different farms and do different things and check off a bingo card. And it's just sort of a fun way of, of encouraging people to get out and see farm stands. And we have a second challenge in July, which is a cooking contest for kids. Um, kids of all ages can submit sort of seasonally themed recipes and they have an opportunity to be featured in a cookbook that's coming out in 2014. One thing that's been really exciting about it being CISA's 20th anniversary is that we've sort of had an opportunity to you know, st strike up conversations with people who were involved in the really early days of CISA. Um, we had an annual meeting where we encouraged people who had been involved in starting the organization to come back and sort of reminisce about what has happened in the 20 years since CISA's been around. And it was really inspiring to hear from people about what agriculture looked like when the organization started and all the things that have happened in the 20 years since that people would never have dreamed of. Buying from local farms supports our local community in lots and lots of ways. It um, keeps local farms in business, which is important. I mean, it's important just to keep local businesses going because money tends to stay in the community. Um, and also it keeps farmland open. And I think a lot of us appreciate how beautiful it is living in an agricultural area and all the benefits that, that brings us. I think local food is delicious and healthy and worth purchasing. I know that CISA's work has been influential in the Valley and it's been really gratifying to sort of hear back from people about how things have changed for the better.